Hey there, hello, good to see you all, good to see you all. Have a nice seat and come drink this tea with me. It's not even tea, it's water. So, last year and the year before that, I would release a end of the year video. Now, these videos are not very good. They are very low effort, they are boring, and I just sound like I want to die in most of them. The problem is that every year, shortly after Halloween, I usually fall into a slump of seasonal depression. Basically, this means that for about 3 or 4 months, I just feel like crap most of the time. The reason for this is because Dutch winters are some of the most cursed fucking things on the planet. It's all grey and cold and it gets dark around 4 in the afternoon. There's no snow anymore because climate change fucked up our climate. And I have to ignore all the racist bullshit happening over in early December and survive Christmas and ah, I hate it! Anyway, I kind of want to change this. I want to take a more positive approach to this and instead just talk about my own personal development this year. Reflect at the year that has been and look at where I want to go next. Look at the videos I made and look where I want to take the channel in the future. I don't know if I'm gonna do this every year, usually my end of the year videos perform poorly so this might be the only time I will do this. We will see. I guess this technically makes this video a vlog? Am I a vlogger now? Well, shit. Anyway, without further ado, I would like to present to you all the year 2022 as perceived by Pim. Yeah. I um, I don't have any props. I got these horns for a Halloween party that I ended up not going to because I was too depressed and um, I didn't want to waste them. Eh. Putting strange things on your head is a left of tradition anyway, so yeah. Eh. <coughs> Video production! Wow, we're actually doing structure this time. It's been a while. So, I made 10 videos this year. This has been a decrease since 2021. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this was not a very inspirational year. I think this year can best be summarized by the fact that I did not really have an idea for what direction I wanted to take the channel in. I started out in 2020 talking about autism and my experiences as an autistic person. In 2021, however, I took on a more general left tube video essay format, talking about subjects that are in general either more political or philosophical. This video worked out a lot better than my work in 2020, but it also left me, emotionally speaking, exhausted. This is why I also made a decision to start a blog in 2021, and why in early 2022 I decided to move all of the more political stuff to my blog. However, this did not really work out the way I had intended, because I suddenly had the issue that I did not really know what subjects I could use to replace the now missing political content. I tried filling the gap with video games that I like, and while I am personally quite happy with how those few videos came out, they did not really get the numbers that I wanted. In the end, I did have to go back to talking about my political content at least a little bit. And a few times that I did, it ended up pretty well. My video on the Dutch farmers was very well received, and despite the death threats I got from neo-Nazis, it also made a lot of numbers. Someone just walked past. Eh, whatever. Despite that, however, there, there is also another thing I need to talk about. Another reason why I think that the video output dried up a bit. The truth is that I've been trying to get back into some kind of regular job. I quit my former job in 2018 and after going through a lot of therapy and mental health stuff, I have since then been trying to find some way to fill my days. Sitting at home all day sounds like fun till you do it for four years on end. Then it becomes depressing. I have tried several things that did not really work out, but for this year I found uh, something that did. You see, I want to become a peer counselor for autistic people. I want to educate other autistic people on how autism works and how they can avoid some of the obstacles in society that I have run into. I am hoping, though I think that the chance is small, that in this manner I can also push the banner of autism rights and autistic liberation a bit forward. 
To become a peer counselor, however, I need to have some form of education. So, via my mental health care supplier, I managed to find an organization that gives several educational courses on peer counseling and mental health recovery in general. And so far, I found them to be very useful and enlightening. I definitely want to work this onto a video someday, but I need to think about how to structure this. As of this moment of writing, I have completed three courses, and I still need to do about four. I am currently taking a seasonal depression break, but I want to resume my education somewhere early next year. Of course, following these courses meant that I had less time and energy to deal with making videos. So, these courses, in combination with not really having a direction for my channel, meant that my video output was low. So, how am I gonna move forward from this? In hindsight, I think that removing political content from my channel was a mistake. However, I also think that going back to just being angry at the world for being such a mess is also not a good idea. Not really for myself, but also for others. I think actually that with peer counseling being a thing in my life right now, I should go back to my roots and make videos about autism again. This is better for me to really put more of my emotional energy in. I know more about autism and autism rights than basically any other political subject. And I also think that it's really important to highlight how ableism works, because I do think that disabled people as a group are a group of people that's often not really talked about in this matter. In general, I am also going to try to increase the production quality of my videos. I think, especially in editing, there is still a lot, a lot I can learn, and I kind of want to shake off the amateurish quality that a lot of my videos currently have. My videos don't need to be like movies, but I do think it could all be a bit more snappier, a bit more shiny, etc. As for other content, it depends how things will go. I do want to make history videos again as well. Those were always very well received, and I did like making them. I kind of want to touch upon some weird subjects that aren't really talked about a lot, but all of this is of course not set in stone. Basically, we will see how it will go. Block! Oh boy, this is gonna be a difficult one. My blog has basically been inactive since June. I made a blog in 2021 to take some of the strain from my channel, but it has not really worked out the way that I wanted to. Honestly, I think in this case it was just a medium. I mean, this basically says it all, doesn't it? I started a blog in 2021, about 10 years after blogs were even remotely viable. On the other hand, Twitter is dying right now, so who knows? We might see blocks return. It is gonna be a weird world if if Elon Musk, someone I hate, makes it so that blocks become relevant again. In all honesty though, I'm going to keep write, try to keep writing articles for my blog. I think political subject and especially Dutch political subject are still a good fit for it. I could also try to promote my blog better. I am not making a Twitter account or something, but who knows. I might send it to someone or something. I don't know about that yet. I think I might also see if I can pick up those videos I made based on blog articles again. Though this should at least give the videos some boost and maybe signal boost some, some of my blog a bit more. Honestly though, beside that, I am not sure what else I can do for my blog. It was never a very popular thing and I don't think it will ever will be. Oh well, at least it might work as an outlet for me to yell at stuff. Other creative stuff! So, I want to pick up the slack in regards to other creative stuff that I do. I do some 3D modeling very sparsely and I want to improve doing this. I also want to pick up drawing again. I used to do drawing a lot back when I still lived with my mother, but I kind of stopped doing it properly when I started living on my own and I kind of want to pick this up again. You see, there's a reason I want to do creative stuff because I want to fulfill a dream I've had for over a decade now. I want to eventually make a video game. A strategy game. Okay, so I have nothing solid planned for this yet, so don't expect anything about this anytime soon. We are still very much in the let's try stuff out phase. This is something I have tried on and off again for over the years, but it never really worked out. I am going to try this again, but I'm going to be smarter about this for a change. I'm going to take very slow steps in this, slowly teach myself to come better in 3D, slowly teach myself to become better in art, and slowly teach myself how to use a game engine. So, I'm not going to make any promises in regards to this project. This is going to be my long-term project that will take years to make, probably, so don't expect anything yet. We are very much sailing in uncharted waters here, and well, here there be dragons. PERSONAL LIFE! 
Oh boy. This is going to be a major linchpin on all of this. So I have talked a lot about my plans for the next year for this entire video. These are all good plans, I think. I think making a video like this is a good idea for me in general because it gives me something to work to. It doesn't matter if few people see this video. It is there to remind me where I want to go. Now, normally I would not discuss something like this in a video in this manner. However, because so much of what I talked about before is dependent on my personal life being stable, I think it is a good idea to at least mention it. This is a subject that's also very emotionally heavy for me, so I will try to keep it short. My life is going to be very difficult in the next few months because I will be spending most of my time looking for a different place to live. It is a long story, but to summarize, I have till the 1st of July next year to find a different home or I will be made homeless. Now, for what it's worth, I don't think it will come to this because I also have other places to go as a backup plan, but none of, none of these are ideal. And I will try to make a video, once, once all of this blows over, I will try to make a video detailing what happens because I do think it's something that people need to know. Now, let me tell you something I have learned from my first peer counseling course. This is Maslow's Pyramid of Needs. It has been criticized in the past, but I think that in this case it is useful. It is called a pyramid because each of these are built on top of each other. You cannot really fully recognize, realize your safety needs if your physiological needs are not met, for example, and that includes shelter. Now, none of what I've talked about in this video will be possible if I don't find any place to live, sooner rather than later. Here's the truth. I don't know what my future is gonna be. This might be the last video I will ever make, or it might not be. I will try my best to find some place to live, and I will try to make all of these plans a reality, but I can make no guarantees. Right now is finding another place to live my top priority. I can do things in between, of course, of course, but this is what is important for me right now. Final thoughts. I am not gonna lie, I have had some truly garbage moments this year, especially these last few weeks. However, I think it's important that I stay positive. I have been in difficult situations like this before, and I've always come out of them. Maybe not always on skate, but I've always definitely come out of them. I will not only survive, but I will try. And so will you. Times are rough, and I know that it must seem that there's no way out. But there is a way out. We just have to trust in each other and help each other out as much as we can. This is why I started my channel all the way back at the start of the big pandemic. By sharing my experiences, I want to give people a sense that they are not alone. And truth to be told, I often feel alone. But if there's something I've, I've learned, then I know that I'm not. And I just have to trust in those people that are there for me. Maybe we can all do the same for each other. I would like to wish all of you a happy holidays. And I hope to see you all next year. Thank you all for watching. And take care.